What's up, everybody? For those who don't know, my name is Kara Michelle. Thank you for coming to my channel today and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this look. Okay, it's pretty in pink and it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so I decided to do pink. So I already did my brows off camera. And I have a brow video, so if you want to take a look at that to see how I did my brows. I also started off with my right eye and finished that. So I'm just going to show you how I did my eyeshadow with my left. So first I start off with my Juvia's Place palette. Um, it's Nubian and Coral. And I love this palette. Um, today I'll only be using three colors in it though. But I am going to try to make another video with this palette where I'm using all of the colors. But first I'm going to start off with this color. And I'm going to use my brush and put this all in my crease. And as you see, I'm moving in circular motion to apply it to my crease. Now I'm going in with this color and I'm going to be applying, applying this on top of the darker burgundy that I just used. And I'm moving this in circular motions as well. And I always usually start off with a dark color then move to my lighter color just so it helps blend. And now I'm going back in with that darker color because I feel like I overdid it with the pink color and I still wanted to show the darker color and the pink color in transition. Now I'm going in with my P's Louise base, my favorite base. And this is in Romer 2. And I'm going to use this to cut my crease. So if you pay attention here, I do this every time I cut my crease. I apply some at the bottom and then I look up. And as you see, the base transition. And I use the top layer to know where I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm going to do it one more time. Yeah, so the top line, the highest line I use to cut my crease. Now I'm going in with this pink shade, 
and I'm gonna use this all over my lid. Now I'm using my NYX white eyeliner, um, liquid liner, and then I'm using my SUVA, I think Suave, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, and the color is Space Panda, and I'm going to apply my NYX liner first, and then the um, Suave liner, or SUVA liner, but um, I did that off camera because it's too tedious. In detail for me to do it on camera with you all but I did it off camera and I just used that in my crease and then I went back in with the pink shade as I'm doing now and um, reapplying the shade again just to make it look more pigmented and now I'm done I'm done applying the pink shade and then I went back in with the white liner to connect the bottom to it and I'm using my black liquid liner just to apply it to the top and then I apply my lashes Now I'm going in with my Smashbox Primer Oil, which I wasted this all over my freaking table. So I was very pissed about that because this is my favorite primer. However, I use that and apply it to my brush. And then I go, up, go in with my Makeup Foundation, Makeup Forever Foundation. And I apply that on top of the brush as well. I have dry skin, so this primer is really works well for me in keeping my skin moisturized. I feel like if you do have oily skin, I recommend you only use like probably one drop on your brush. I use about four. So now I'm just going to be applying my foundation all over my face, moving my brush in circular motion. Now I'm going in with my Tarte Concealer. And y'all, since this concealer came into my life, it's just been a whole new world. I love this concealer. I like LA Pro Concealer too, and it's a very good product for it to be cheap. But this Tarte Concealer would change your life. And I'm like, I'm finna spend $20 on this tube of concealer. I'm like, mm -mm, I'm not doing that. Cause yes, I'm a budget shopper. But I'm glad I did. It was really, really worth it. So I'm applying this under my eyes on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, on my chin, and in the middle of my nose. And now I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender to blend this out. And while y'all watching me blend this out, 
So I already told you all that in a lot of my videos, I'm only going to be using one palette because I just feel like it makes it easier for beginners. You know, when I first started doing makeup, I wasn't so quick to go out and buy a $100, $50 palette. I wanted to start off on the cheaper side and I feel like Julia's Place palettes are very um, inexpensive with good quality. And it's better to know how to do multiple looks with one palette. So if you're starting off, you can just use that one palette to practice rather than having to go get five palettes to make one look. So in a lot of my videos, I will be only using one palette to do my makeup. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills stick. And I'm going to be using this to contour. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty setting powder in the color Honey, in the shade Honey. And I'm going to be using this to set my concealer. So of course I put it under my eyes, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, on my chin. And even though I didn't put concealer under my contour, I still put it under my contour just so the whole face looks um, evenly coated. Now I'm using my BH Cosmetic Studio Pro um, palette. I forgot what kind of palette this is called, but um, I'm going in with the color I was just pointing to to blend out my contour. Now I'm going to use a blending brush and blend everything together. Look at that y'all. Fur. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me blush 
one of my favorite blushes and it's very inexpensive for the quality and I'm just going to apply this on my cheekbones. Once my blush is applied, I go on with my dewy set and this is my setting spray and I just spray three sprays, three to four sprays all over my face and of course this helps set the whole look. I jumped a little bit y'all, it'd be cold. <laughs> <laughs> then I wait till it dry a little bit. I fan it myself. Now I'm going in with my sleek makeup highlighter, and I'm going to be using this to highlight on top of the blush. So I put the blush first, then the setting spray, and then I highlight. Now I'm going in with my Lipstick Queen liner. Um, I forgot what color this is in, but I really like this liner. I paid $18 for this liner, but I swear to you all, it's so worth it. Because it applies so perfect. You don't have to put extra stress to apply it. Because that's a lot of problems I've found with liners. Like I would have to stress to apply it to get it to look like, look up to date. It actually looked really good without having to do all that. Now I'm going in with my NYX um, liquid lipstick or lip gloss. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry I moved that uh, screen too fast. But yeah, I'm going in with this, and it's in the color Fortune Cookie. And I feel like this is perfect for all shades of color. This lip gloss is perfect. I can legit use this with any look. So yeah, y'all, that's it. That's all to it. I hope you all really like this look. I really enjoyed creating this look. I was a little nervous about it at first, but I ended up liking it. And I hope you all love it as well. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know any other colors or looks that I should do. Um, but yeah, so I will see you all soon. Bye.